Using templates throughout the design process can be a pretty big help. Not only does it eliminate the need for you to recreate these documents every time, but it can also help your team standardize on one set of documents. And this is no different when using Altium 365. When you're connected to your workspace, you'll notice that there's a default templates folder. In this folder, you'll find multiple types of templates, such as templates for bill of materials, for output job files, and more. Now you may notice that there are some existing templates, and these were added when the workspace was created. Now you're welcome to create your own templates folder along with your own templates, and this is what we're going to be showing you today. We're going to quickly create our own schematic template. Now you're going to want to give it a unique name. Feel free to give it a description of your choice as well. Each template will be given a unique item ID. This is one way to differentiate one template from the other. Modifying this template is no different than modifying a template using Altium Designer without Altium 365. You can feel free to make any changes to any parameters or any graphical items. Whenever you're satisfied with the template, go ahead and save it. And the last thing we'll do is we'll save it to the server. Feel free to give it a meaningful comment so that you can identify what changes were made during the release of the template. And now that it's been saved to the server, let's go see what this looks like inside of our workspace. We can now see that our new template is available within the workspace itself and it's ready to be used in a project. If you want to use it in an existing project, this is no different than just changing the sheet. Now if you wanted to use this schematic template every time a schematic sheet was created, we can set that in the preferences. When we look at the templates, we can see all of our server templates that currently exist in our workspace. Now if we want to use the template that we just created as the default schematic sheet, we can set that here. Now every time that we add a schematic sheet to our project, it'll use that specific template. Feel free to start using other templates in Altium 365 to take full advantage of it.